Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we're going to be doing my, I don't know why I keep wanting to say May favorites, but my July favorites, so sorry I went ahead and missed June. <laughs> Totally missed June. Um, a lot was going on in the month of June. Not only was June my birthday month. My birthday is June 17th. But I just had a lot going on. So I totally forgot about my favorites until like the week before July. And I was like, well, I'm just going to talk about it in July. So some of these products I've been using for the month of June and July. That's a plus. I've actually got an opportunity to actually go ahead and really use these products. So if you want to see the products that I love for the month of July, June and July, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Summer day, I still remember your name. Summer days, sweet fragrance just smells the same. So where do I begin? I'm just going to start grabbing products. So I'm going to first start with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, I did a drugstore video, I will link it up top right now, where I first tested this out and I have been using it ever since. Literally since the day of that video, I have not used any other primer. Just because I feel like I really wanted to see this primer work, and I'm glad I did that because I actually love it. So lately, I've been really loving my uh, base, like my foundation base, and there are multiple factors in me loving it, but one of the main factors is this primer. So it really does a great job at blurring out my pores. When I first used it, I really didn't see anything, but the more I used it under different foundations and... You know, I would film videos and like keep my makeup on and go out and about and run my errands. I saw this primer really does hold on. It's about six to eight dollars at Target. I think I paid for it, I don't remember, but I really I really do like this primer. Under, like in my T-zone has been looking a lot smoother. My foundation goes on a lot easier. And then in the end, I come out with this almost flawless blur effect, effect finish that I absolutely love, especially since right now, my face is going through some type of change. I don't know what it is, but it's going through some type of change. So um, even with that, I've been loving the way my makeup has been coming out. I literally have it on right now as my primer, and I absolutely love it. So this is well, well worth it. Um, I've been loving this primer, y'all. I've been loving this primer. And like I said, I'm glad I gave it a chance. I didn't just, you know, not use it again after that video. I've been using it ever since that video. Every video that you've seen since then that I've had on makeup, this has been my primer. And that's 100% the truth. And like I said, I'm so, so glad I did that because I absolutely love this primer now. So I really wanted to go ahead and give it its time to shine because now I've seen what all the hype is about uh, initially i didn't but now i do with long-term use so i've been loving this primer the next favorite is the anastasia beverly hills luminous foundation let me tell you okay i love this foundation this is not really my correct shade the undertone is a bit red for me this is the shade 570n um, the undertone is a bit red for me. I'm more of like a neutral undertone. I need to go like one shade up from this, but the reason why I've still been using this shade is because once I put on concealer and blend it out and put on like my face powder, it evens out beautifully. I've been using this in almost every video since, um, my chit chat get ready with me. This has been the foundation. So, and almost all these videos this has been the foundation um i love it the coverage on this foundation is beautiful full coverage but not cakey not heavy i love the way it sets on my skin this is my new favorite foundation i absolutely love this foundation like i can i cannot um i'm gonna get another shade i just don't know what shade to get but 
I've been loving this. I got this from Sephora. I, I don't know what else to even say. I absolutely love it. The next is another complexion product. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer slash Corrector. I am in the shade D30. Absolutely love it. Um, I got the idea to buy this from Naima Tang. I hope I'm saying her name right. I love her video. She's so beautiful. I was watching one of her recent videos and she used this and I was like, wow, that concealer looks really good on her. And she was just saying how she loved the um she loved the coverage and everything. So I went like two days later to Sephora and picked it up. This is a bit pricey. <laughs> this is like 30 something dollars for a concealer and it's pretty small but you a little goes a long way and I do agree with her I absolutely love the coverage and it blends beautifully beautifully I love this concealer I love the coverage I love the way it sets underneath my eyes I don't have it on my concealer today I just have on my LA girl pro concealer but I absolutely love this concealer it's so good it's pat mcgrath um and because i love this so much i do want to try the foundation like i mentioned in my uh sephora fantasy basket um video which i will link right now at the top of the screen um great great concealer however um do i think you need to go spend this type of money on a concealer no um one that's comparable to this one i would say is the Too faced born this way that has great coverage the juvia's place concealer has amazing coverage like this one and they don't actually pack as much as a price tag as this one so you don't want to the price has you a little weary you don't have to go for it but if you don't want the price definitely go ahead and pick it up i absolutely have been loving this concealer okay now the next favorite is the juvia's place setting powder these have been out for a while i knew i knew i wanted to try them but I have so many setting powders. Like, setting powders is something that I don't really buy lately because I have so many and I feel like I have more than I need. So, when these came out, I knew I wanted to try them, but I was like, well, I'm going to put it off as long as I can because I'm not even nowhere near through the setting powders that I got. And I have at least 12 in here. So, it's like... I'm gonna stray away, but a couple, about two weeks ago, they went on sale 50% off. So instead of being $12, it was six. So I said, well, this is a perfect time as any <laughs> to go ahead and try it. And they have so many shades. I have the shade Gobi, Gobi, G-O-B-I. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. However, <laughs> I've been using this setting powder in the last three or four videos I've been doing, about three or four videos, I have it on as my setting powder today. I love this setting powder. Blurs, and it looks so good. That's like my perfect shade, that shade right there. It looks so good, and it sets so beautifully. It's so smooth, it's not chalky, it doesn't cake up on me. Great, great, great setting powder. This one is like a like a camel, like tannish. I can't explain it. This is what that shade looks like. Perfect shade for me. Like I said, this is like the perfect shade for my skin tone. So if you are similar to me, definitely go ahead and try this shade out if you're confused about what shade to get. Because I know I was a little confused about what shade to get. So I went ahead with this one and loved it. The next favorite, oof, I've been loving this. This is the Cody. Airspun Loose Highlighter in the shade Gold for Gold Glow for Gold 300. I got this from Walmart for $5.89. You hear me? This is a beautiful loose highlighter. The other two shades, not for me. One was like an icy white. I'm the other one was like an icy pink. Those two not for me. They only have three shades. I think they should come out with more. Like they need like one about a shade darker than this one um like a bra like a really nice bronze one i want to see that one but this is glow for gold i have about two videos here on the channel wearing it it's you guys 
Look at that. Are you kidding me? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Like, it looks, oh my gosh, it looks, I'm gonna rub it in. It almost melts into the skin. Like, look at that. Almost like melts into the skin. It doesn't just like sit on top or anything. It literally melts into your skin. It lasts all day. It's 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 a, it's an amazing highlighter in the price. Like you're gonna pay about six dollars after tax. This shade is like a universal gold that'll fit almost everybody. But I really want to see them come out with like a beautiful. I mean deep make it deep bronze and this formula is actually really really nice and smooth and it's like silky love love this highlighter the next favorite is in a lipstick this is by seek revenge beauty I did it is a black owned brand and I did do a in detail 100% review. Um, I went very detailed with that video because it is a newer brand and I wanted to give you guys as much information as I could. I know there are a lot of people out there who are skeptical when it comes to trying new brands because you don't really know what the product is like. So I wanted to give you guys as much honest detail as I could. <laughs> All my reviews are always honest, but I wanted to give you guys as much detail as I could so that way any questions you may have will be answered and I really wanted you guys to try the brand because I love the brand. But this is a lipstick called Bena Vibe. I've been rocking this like nobody's business. It's like a, for my skin tone, it's like a, um, um, it will be a nude for me, but it's like a deep brown nude. The camera won't focus on it, but it's like a deep brown nude. I love the packaging. I review all of the lipstick, all of the liquid lipsticks in that video. Beautiful color. I've been rocking this like crazy. Just for an everyday quick new lipstick to throw on with any look and go out the door. I've been absolutely loving this. The formula isn't sticky or tacky, and it really does give a good lasting power, and they smell so good. Smells so good. So I've been loving this lipstick. Go ahead and check that vi that video out. I will leave it linked up top and down below in the description box. Okay, the last favorites are some eyeshadow palettes. So the first one is my new baby, the Natasha Denona Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. You guys, I've been uh obsessed i've been wearing it almost non-stop i will link up top the review i did on the palette i will link the video right now am i in a corner i have on this shade here i absolutely love this eyeshadow palette and i get it we're not you know people are not really buying nudes right now one her mattes in here are like <sighs> beautiful. This shade Deep Dive in the review, I was like, is it like a satin? She calls it like the cream to powder. I think that's what she called it. And it made so much sense to me. Cause it's like it's a matte. But it's like creamy. Like I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't explain it. But she explained it perfectly in her review of it. And then these shimmers in here are crazy. Wet and dry. It's Natasha Denona. This palette is $65. Um, but I love, I love it. I love it. I love them. So I've been wearing this nonstop. This palette is my new baby. I've just been rocking out with this palette i love it so much you can do a daytime look a smoky a neutral you can do anything with this palette and on women of color bronze and reddish tones and gold looks so good against our skin tone and it just <sighs> and the last favorite i wanted to mention because I used it for the first time today, but I'm so much in love with this eye look, I thought I should mention it, and that's the Milk Cosmetics She's and Parties palette. 
I want to mention this palette. Not only because I used it today and I loved it, but I do own the She's in Parties eyeshadow stack, and I absolutely love it. And then I was thinking to myself last night, like, how come I never did? I don't have any videos on my channel using any of my nail eyeshadow stacks, and I have no clue why I've done that. <laughs> like, I have almost all of them, except for I don't have Rust and radioactive now some of you may know but four shades in here are in the stack and they added an extra four new four shades to make an eight pan eyeshadow palette so skeleton kiss last cares she's in parties and mean streak are the ones that are in the eyeshadow stack she's in parties but uh strange love total immortal lose control and sleepwalk are new I love the eye look that I did today. I love I, Milk Cosmetics eyeshadow palette formula. That's why I have so many of this stuff. Um, absolutely love. If you love plummy shades like me, definitely go ahead and check this palette out. I love plummy eyeshadows. I love the way they look on my skin tone. Like, love. So, this was a good one for me. All right, everybody. That's everything that's my favorite for the month of june and july i hope you guys enjoy everything will be listed down below and whatever i can find links for of course i'll go ahead and link it for you guys let me know if you guys plan to try these products or if you already have and i haven't said this in a while but i want to know what are your favorites for the month of june and july or just july or just june or whatever you want to tell me what products you guys have been loving and Maybe it's a product that you guys want me to test out, and I will definitely go pick it up and try it out. Um, so go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Mwah.